In this specific video, you're going to learn how to clone your blog to a different domain name. In other words, we're going to copy the WordPress site from one domain to a different domain name. It's very easy to do, but it can kind of get complicated if you don't know where to start. As long as you follow me step by step, you'll see how easy this really is. So the first thing you want to do is to figure out which domain you want to copy the files to. From that point, you're going to need to obtain the FTP username and password. And you're also going to need to log in to cPanel so that you can begin to create the databases. So at this point, what I need to do is click on View Backups. Choose the specific backup that I want to clone or move and click on Clone. Now, this is very similar to restoring a backup. However, in this case, we're going to be entering the FTP details of a different website. Now, before we can include the information here, we need to go to that website and log in using the FileZilla FTP program and log in to that website. So in this case, I'm going to be installing or moving the WordPress files over to this domain here, nextlevelff.com. What you need to do is you need to figure out, okay, where do you want the WordPress files to be located? Do you want it to be located in a specific directory? Or do you want it to be located in the main root directory? If you want it to be in the main root directory, you can skip this step. However, if you want to create a subdirectory and move the files in there, you can do that as well. So currently, what I want to do is I want to move the files from the checkthisoutrightnow.net/funnytees to nextlevelffff.com/funnytees. So what I need to do is create the folder funnytees. I need to right click, click on file permissions and then change this folder to 777. Click on OK. I'm going to go back to xcloner here. I'm going to enter the information here, the website URL, the FTP host name, which is ftp.yourdomain.com. Enter the username, the FTP information, and then enter the password, and then enter the FTP directory. And the way you know this is if you go to the FTP program, you'll see at the top here either public underscore HTML, HTTP docs, HT docs, and make sure you put a public underscore HTML slash and enter the password and click continue. At this point, you'll need to click here to continue. Now, we're almost done. What you need to do now is, it says here, install directory. This needs to be the location where you want the files to be. Now, as you saw earlier, I created a folder called Funny Tees. So what I need to do is type in Funny Tees slash, and here I need to put funny tees slash choose the backup archive to restore I only have one backup file you're gonna need to enter your MySQL database information now this MySQL database needs to be located on your new domain name and it needs to be a brand new MySQL username and password so whether you use cPanel or any other web hosting panel, 
what you need to do now is to create a MySQL database. So under cPanel, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on MySQL database wizard, I'm going to create a database called Funny Tees. Click on Next Step. I'm going to create a user called Funny and I'm going to enter the password create user I'm going to add all privileges and create next step and you're going to need to save this information for later so this is going to be the database here and this is going to be the user here so make sure you save that information as well as the password because you're going to need this later. Now what I'm going to do next is to go back to xcloner and enter the information here. So enter the MySQL username, the password, and the database here. Click on start install. And as you can see here, it is installing the files to the new domain name. So click here to continue with the database import. And all should be done. Click here to continue. And that's it. So now if I'm going to go to the website, as you can see here, it works.